Hello there, and welcome to another episode of the In Between Podcast with your host, Kyle McLemore. Let's go ahead and get things started here. Hello there, and welcome to another episode of the In Between Podcast with your host, as always, Kyle McLemore. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It definitely helps the podcast keep going, and we appreciate all lights, subscriptions, and comments. Uh, they are all welcome here at the In Between Podcast, and we appreciate you there. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I'm trying to keep it going here, uh, making sure that we get this tuned out uh, twice a week. Trying to stay committed to that one. Uh, this week, what do I want to talk about? Let's talk about some American history, more specifically California history. I spent the weekend with uh, my beautiful girlfriend and her beautiful daughter who is in elementary school, and I was helping her with her history project where she had to pick a significant person in California's history and do a presentation, and she decided to choose a gentleman by the name of John Sutter. I believe his name is John Sutter. Very fascinating, and it's also interesting when you're trying to do a children's report. It's like how much do we include because there is a lot of Native American... Native American uh, slavery and, like, uh, terrible action going on all throughout this uh, guy's life. So it's like, how much do we include in that to presentate, to bring in a presentation to uh, presentate, to present, idiot, uh, to present to a bunch of kids? Uh, You don't want to get too into the details, I guess, or the facts. I want to keep it kind of broad, but... I'll give you guys the basic rundown of this dude's uh, life from what I remember. Uh, first of all, he's born in like Switzerland or Sweden or somewhere European. Uh, has a job or a life or whatever and a wife and five kids. And then he starts racking up uh, debt through his, uh, just a bunch of debt. And then uh, it gets to the point where they're just like, uh, hey man, uh, you either pay your debt or you're going to jail for basically like ever. And he goes, oh, I'm sorry, you didn't mention option C, where I just abandon my wife and kids and go to America. So, uh, sorry, honey, sorry, one, two, three, four, five kids, see ya. Uh, Daddy's got to go to America to escape this debt. Uh, Hitches a boat ride over to America, California specifically, uh, and eventually uh, meets up with some uh, Mexican governors or... uh, yeah, Mexican landowners or something, and basically convinces them to uh, create what would one day become the modern Sacramento, so a little like a uh, little town he starts. And in this little town, he's like, he's just like, all right, cool, I got all this new land, this is awesome. And all these Native American dudes are like, eh, except it's kind of our land, we're actually living here. And he's just like, ooh, guess what? Uh, you're my slave now, uh, so thanks for the free labor. Uh, but this is all mine, so thanks. Uh, and then uh, gets even luckier where he basically is like the first person to discover gold on his land. Uh, he's able to keep that secret for about a minute before. I mean, how long can you keep that a secret? It's been, uh, like, uh, there's just gold in the ground. Like, not going to keep that hidden for too long. And, of course, you know, if you know anything about history, uh, yeah, that's when the whole gold rush started and... Uh, overnight, he's got like ten thousands upon thousands of people just swarming up on his land, looking for this gold. And like, there's people that just run up and they're just like, "Yeah, this is mine. This where right here. This is this is my land now." And he's like, "What the? You just can't come on. You just can't come onto my property and just say this is your land all of a sudden." Meanwhile, the Native Americans behind him are just like. Uh, what what was that, John? Did you say something about uh complaining about someone stealing your land? That's weird because I've been spending the last couple of weeks complaining about that, and uh, I'm sitting here in shackles, and you've murdered my whole family. What's up with that? Uh, yeah. So the dude basically spent the rest of his life uh like bankrupt and like uh, fighting court cases of all these people, uh, trying to claim to his land or whatever. Uh, yeah. Uh, the ultimate in American irony, I would say. Uh, but yeah, it's just it, it, it's interesting. Uh, it's kind of fun learning. It was cool. We got to you know, 
work on the project and get to watch a little video about the student's life and learn about how gnarly he is. It's crazy how incredibly important he was. And then I just like the vibe you did. I mean, it takes a certain kind of guy to like uh, completely abandon your family like that. Uh, gee, especially like not even one, two, three, five kids that you're just throwing. See ya. Like, uh, I mean, like, I guess I'm not, I wasn't there. So it's like, maybe he was sending checks back home. But I doubt it. Like, I uh, really doubt that he's the kind of dude, I mean, that's going to, you know, massacre a bunch of Native Americans and enslave them. But then make sure he sends those uh, those uh, those alimony payments or whatever, the uh, child support payments back home. Yeah, doubt it. Good luck finding me in America. In the old, in the new West. Yeah, good luck, lady. It's hard enough finding, like, uh, dads, like, in the modern era. Think about back in the fucking 1800s. Going to a new country, you might as well just, like, go on a whole new planet. Uh, yeah, no chance of, uh, seeing them ever again. Uh, yeah, but what else is new? Uh, I happened to see that new movie, uh, Men. Uh, very, very interesting. I was actually planning on doing, like, a whole review on it, but... After seeing the movie, it's like, I don't even know how to, I don't even know where to begin with the review. Uh, boy, uh, I'd still totally recommend it. I mean, it's pretty interesting. Uh, whatever you think the movie is, it is not what you think it is. And you can guess the ending all day. You wouldn't, it is worth seeing the movie just for the ending. The ending is b b b bonkers, dude. Uh, wow, yeah, it's worth it. For the last five minutes are, I can guarantee, Something you have never seen in movie theaters before, and it, it, it's worth a watch for sure. I can't really remember the last uh, like school project I had. I remember having like a school project when I was like in elementary school. I remember specifically it was like a pirate thing that like, we had to do like our project on like a certain kind of pirate you had to pick. And I remember picking a uh, Blackbeard, and I remember not doing the project at all. And then like we had to go in a big circle around like you had to give a presentation about your pirates. And the whole time I'm just like sitting there like, oh boy, didn't do it. Didn't get to me and I didn't do my project. And they're going around and it's like, but luckily it worked out because uh, I think like 14 or 15 other kids also pitched Blackbeard. So it was like Blackbeard, somebody, Blackbeard, 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 somebody, somebody, Blackbeard. Finally gets to me and I played it off good for like being like a 10 year old. I was like, "Uh, yeah, totally did my project, but... I mean, we've all heard Blackbeard like 70 times already, right? I mean, I don't think there's anything really I knew I can bring to the table. Eh? Didn't do a lick of research on that one, and my teacher was like, yeah, I don't want to hear about Blackbeard again, whatever. We did it. You passed. It's all good. Next. And I remember just being like, yeah. Got away with that one. Ew. Uh, yeah, if only everything else was that easy. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in to the In Between Podcast. I appreciate you stopping by and giving it a watch, listen, whatever. Uh, definitely appreciate all the support, and we thank you here at the In Between Podcast. Make sure you keep tuning in, like it, subscribe it, leave a comment. I'd love to respond. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this has been the In Between Podcast with your host, as always, Kyle McLemore, and uh, we'll see you next time. Keep plowing ahead. Here. See you next time.